patiently waiting For the stream of faith which brings life forever Okay, in this video I'm going to attempt to cover all the different types of tests you're going to need to be able to do within hydroponics and also within aquaponics. Not only just of, of your mediums using uh, electrical test equipment, digital test equipment, but also using chemical, te chemical test equipment. These are probably the most simplest. I just drop this inside the barrel and the LED gives you the flashing LED corresponds to a series of numbers and those numbers are parts per million so if I pop that in it will give me a reading and that's at the current it's on six six parts per million so we need to add nutrients to that tank. Now when I add nutrients these are uh, ionics, this is ionics nutrients, I put in a syringe, I have a separate syringe uh, for bloom, for boost or whatever you're doing, don't mix the nutrients prior to putting them in the water. Okay, add the largest um, amount of nutrients first, I'm just wrestling with the camera I'm going to put about half of this into the tank, and then uh, I'll give it a I'll give it a stir. Just use the wand, give it a stir, and you can see we've come up to 12. And I've added a little more nutrient, and as you can see, we're on 17, flashing between 16 and 18. So that gives us the uh, tells us it's 17 if it flashes between the two. Now we need to test the pH. I do not see this one. And as you can see there the pH is a little high 6.3 so I will bring the pH down just a little before we add the boost. Just going to add one, two drips of pH down. Doesn't look like a lot, uh, I grant you, but you'll be amazed and quick. It's um, phosphoric acid moving the nutrient down. Now, the reason why you're doing, why we're doing this. Because we want the, the pH to be spot on. Now you see it's just brought it down one point, that's come to 6.2. Again now I'm just going to add just a couple of drops at a time. And keep repeating the process. 6.1 now. Yeah. Come down to six now. Which five point eight to a six point two. So I'll, I'll leave that there for now. Now we want to leave this about half an hour and then test it again. We may have to bring it down a little bit more. Then you're measuring the trituration of the water. Well, we left that a little bit longer and. Uh, it did come up slightly, I added a little bit more and as you can see now we're uh, we're down to 5.8 so sometimes it will rise up, well normally it will now we add, in this case, and all the manufacturers are different again this is Ionix, it's one of the cheaper nutrients seems to work just as well as the expensive ones we're now going to add the same number of mils per litre so this is about 18 litres, so I'm going to add there we go, about 18 mils. And then mix that in. And that's it. 
we're finished. In a lot of cases you'd have a, a barrel of water that you've pre-prepped and you could just add to this. Don't use direct tap water, it's too cold. You need to make sure your tap water is quite warm. And always check the pH before you add the boost. The boost, or the second part of your, your nutrients you're using, needs to go in at the correct pH. So check the manufacturer's instructions and use meters definitely okay you can use chemical test meters as well as the electrical ones um, pH oh, pH um, excuse me pH um, chemical testers um, but they're not as accurate these are, are much more accurate some of them are quite expensive these now are quite cheap uh, in comparison to what they were uh, if you are going to do a larger grow then you you really need to invest in a couple of decent meters at least so test for hydroponics and especially aquaponics this is a simple test to test the uh, the mediums in this first one we just have terracotta pot that's been uh, broken up and we're just adding um, white vinegar I'll add this to all of them Oops, slow down a bit and then everywhere just enough to cover them now as you can see these there's no nothing happening okay, there's an occasional bubble I think that's, that's just air so yeah, that's, that's terracotta so what that's showing us is that be okay to use that would be fine again here we have broken up terracotta pot let's get the air out of it now there is no nope, see it's stopped now no bubbles forming here we have aquarium gravel which I've just purchased so I need to do this test to make sure this is alright but I can't see any bubbles rising in that here we have the old gravel and as you can probably see that's fizzing away merrily absolutely useless now we wouldn't want to use that one and here is the one this is limestone so you can actually see what's what's actually happening but even so it is not reacting as much as this terrible stuff so always check remember we bought this as aquarium gravel we also bought this as aquarium gravel this is and as you can clearly see that is not so dead simple test white vinegar distilled white vinegar place a little bit on and a perfect one you should have clear water with no bubbles bubbles which is limestone and will break down and as you can see here that's like a reactor <laughs> well, I'll move on to the, uh, the next test I'm going to take a sample of water put a little bit of water and rinse it out and I'm going to stick it in upside down into the middle and let the water in and then we've got a sample of, of our water now we're going to use this to complete the rest of the tests I'm going to transfer now a little water five mil to each of these test tubes now I'm going to use the pen here to show you we have a, a pH there of 6.6 .6, which is okay that's roughly what the tap water is 6, 4, 6, 8 now in the old tank 
the system kept rising up and the pH kept rising up because of that gravel seem to have solved that problem now right we'll start with uh, the simplest of them all uh, uh, just a, a pH test and um, this just involves you putting seven drops of this into a test tube one two three four five six seven and one on the table for good measure bit of a mix don't have to go too crazy with it and just pop a top on and then you let them develop so that's pH I don't normally um, just let me pop that in there so I don't get confused I have a little label telling me it's pH now I'll go through the, each of these they're all different um, some manufacturers of these products use uh, powders as well and, and they're all slightly different so you need to read the instructions Okay, we've uh, we've put all the chemicals in the test. Very colourful in the looks. Uh, I'll just give you an example of one or two of them. This is the uh, phosphates in the water. As you can see, we've got quite a high phosphate level. Just colour matching it. As you can see, we're about here, 2.5 or 25 parts coles per million. As you can see, it's not as high as I presumed. But we are getting towards, like you say, the little question mark here, exclamation mark. A little bit high, so bear in mind this system's only been set up. Uh, and now the, um, the nitrate you can see here again, um, this is the, the plant food, uh, and we've got it, it's happening at the bottom with virtually no ammonia at all. And the ammonia is being converted nitrate and then uh, nitrite and then into nitrate, which is our plant food. Now what's missing from that is your, your, your potash. Like I said, we've got plenty of that. See, always make sure you have these tests. Now it doesn't matter whether you're doing aquaponics or you're just keeping your fish in your pond. If you don't do these tests, you could be prosecuted in the UK now. Um, testing of the water for um, tropical fish or pet fish is now compulsory. Just to recap, we have the testing of your gravels, and your mediums, whatever you're going to be using. Now this will work both ways, even in a fish tank. You don't want to be putting these two chaps in the end here in a fish tank, you'd have major problems. Then we have the, uh, the tests for your hydroponics, which involve the part particles per million, and the saturation of your nutrients, and the pH reading of those your marine or your fish tests these will uh, these will tell you whether your system's working or not you may get spikes in these like you say we've got a bit of a spike just here at the moment we need to get more planting in um, the salinity tests and stuff like that using brakes meters uh, we do have those but to be honest we, we don't have um, we're not looking for salt water we're all fresh water so there's no need for that right okay I think that's about the end of the, the tests I can show you with knowledge all oh, children within I know I rock is a solid foundation future is our guide to creation I faith bow patiently waiting for the stream of faith which brings life forever